Now, before proceeding any further, I do want to show you one thing real quick. Let's actually uh, log into our Docker container and take a look at the files in there. So we can do that by typing in docker exec uh, dash it for interactive mode. And then we'll specify the name of our Docker container, which is node dash app. And then we want to pass in a new command instead of the usual node index.js. We're going to pass in bash. So this is going to allow us to take a look at the file system of our container. Uh, so here by default, it's going to drop us in the slash app directory just because uh, we set the working directory to be that. Uh, and here, I just want to type in an ls. So this is going to list all the files in that directory. And so you're going to see all the files that are copied over. So we've got our package.json. We've got the package.lock. We've got the node modules folder, um, our index.js. And we've got the Docker file. And, uh, you know, the reason why I wanted to show you the file system is um, you may be wondering, what is our Docker file ultimately doing in our Docker container? Right, our Docker file is there to create an image, but we don't actually need it in our Docker container. And I also wanted to point out one more thing. If you take a look at this copy command right here, what it does is it copies everything in our current directory, so every single file, uh, and it copies it into our container or our image. And this is a bad thing um, because there are going to be files that you don't actually want copied into your container, right? Just like our Docker file that I mentioned, uh, we may also have an environment file that has a lot of our secrets that we don't actually want copied into our container, potentially. Uh, also on top of that, we don't need to copy our node modules folder. This is actually a waste of time because uh, a lot of times this folder is actually fairly large and we don't need to do that because remember, we're copying our package.json file and then we're doing an npm install. So there is zero reason to ever have to copy this node modules folder into our container. And on top of that, um, we ultimately want to move away from developing on our local machine. So moving forward, we won't even have a node modules folder on our local machine. It'll only ever exist uh, within our Docker container. So why are we even copying it in the first place? Uh, it could be stale. We may not even have it. So um, we need to find a way to make it so that Docker does not copy over files that we don't ultimately want copied over, just like this Docker file, just like the node modules folder. Uh, if we have Git configured, we definitely don't want that copied over. Uh, and so we can do that by creating a Docker ignore file, right? And that probably sounds a little familiar because if you work with Git, Git has a Git ignore file um, for files that you don't want uh, checked into your Git repository, same exact concept. So let me exit out of my container. Uh, so we can do exit to exit out of the file system. And uh, I'm going to kill that that uh, container. So we'll do docker rm uh, node dash app, and then we'll do dash f for force. And let's create a docker ignore file. So I'll do a new file. And I'm going to call this dot or period, and then docker ignore. And within our docker ignore file, we're going to list out every single file and folder that we don't ever want copied into our Docker container. So the first thing is we don't want to copy our node modules folder because we're going to do an npm install from our package.json anyways. So there's really no need to ever copy it over. Uh, we don't want to copy over our Docker file. Uh, now that we have a Docker ignore file, there's really no need to copy that into our Docker container. Uh, and then a few other things, right? If you have Git, you don't want to copy Git. You don't want to copy your uh, Git ignore. Uh, for now, I think that's good. Um, you'll see later on in the video, we'll add a couple more files, but for now, that's okay. Just do a save. And now let's rebuild our image. So let's find that build command. So docker build, dash t, the name, and then uh, the path to the docker file. So that's their current directory. So we'll run that. Let me just make sure I didn't change anything in my index.js. Yep, everything looks good. So let's run that. All right, so that's done. Let's run our container from the new Docker image that we just created. So if we hit up for that Docker run command, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. So Docker run dash P. So we're going to open up port 3000, run in detached mode. We're going to give the container a name of node dash app, and we're going to use the node app image that we just created. All right, so we did that. Let me just quickly double check to make sure I didn't break anything. So we'll hit refresh. It looks like everything's working. Perfect. Now let's go into our Docker container again. So we can uh, run that uh, docker exec command. And let's just make sure it didn't copy over any unnecessary files. So let's do an ls. And now it's perfect, right? We no longer see a docker file. There's no docker ignore file. I can't verify for you guys that we didn't copy over the node modules folder, but just trust me, this node modules folder is from running a uh, 
uh, an npm install uh, on the fourth step and not because we copied it over from our local machine. All right, so let's exit out of that. <laughs> 